Want to raise your chest to a new level? Challenge Yourself is an exclusive, innovative experience designed for Chess24 Premium members. Train like a champ with a unique set of lessons prepared by the coaches of the challengers. Boris Gelfand and Co. will help you improve your chess. Play a champ. Play a grandmaster each day in Banter Blitz. Take advantage of this incredible opportunity from June 10th. Go premium and challenge yourself. And Queen takes F3. Oh, what is going wow. on? Oh, this is going to be a fortress. I just don't see any hopes at all. This is very easy. Just rook back and forth. Taking chess to the next level. Wow. Wow. Wow, yeah. Nothing else to say. Wow. Creating the future of the sport. Introducing the Champions Chess Tour. 10 months, 10 tournaments. The world's best players online and on TV.
Hello, hello, guys. Uh, welcome to uh, this Banter Blitz session. Uh, so I'll be playing some games today, uh, mostly five minutes and, and three minutes. Um, so we can, all, we can also play with, with increment. Uh, and uh, I'll be paying attention to the Chess24 chat. So um, if, you, if you have some questions, you can... Uh, you can tell me and I'll, I'll try to to respond so let's let's start i have some some challenges here uh, let's start with uh with three plus two so a killer of gms let's see how it goes sicilian Okay, so takes knight c3, knight c6, very popular line. So I'll take and play e5, knight e4, queen c7, f4, queen b6, c4, knight e3. Yes, bishop b4 is the other move, but knight e3 is possible as well. In bishop b4, I'm supposed to play bishop d2 or king e2, knight takes c4. It's a, it's a trick. So probably I, I should play here. And if bishop takes, then queen takes, I guess, out of five. Um, Let's see, I can castle long. Uh, it doesn't look bad. Rook b8, maybe. So the thing here is that uh, I have, uh, of course, pretty uh, nice square on d6. And his bishop is also a bit passive on c8. So black has to be careful positionally because it can, it can be pretty bad if if white, let's say, consolidates. So I think this blunders d7. I can take and take on d7. King f8. And I should have uh, something good here. Maybe knight d6, maybe knight g5. Let's see. I can take on c6 and so then rook b8. Um, queen c5 check. That also looks good. Mm. Let's take here. We'll play for queen c5. Bishop is on also queen c5. Yeah, I think, uh, of course, bishop a6 was wrong. Now it looks winning for for me. Yeah, it's there's no way to stop Queen C five. I'm trying to think what what he can play to keep some chances, but Probably this on the bishop c6, but this is bad. Okay, so 93 is what he wants. Mm. Maybe rook d3, king is seven. Then rook g1. I will slowly try to get my pieces out. Probably king e7. Try to connect the rooks. But yeah, this this should be this should be losing for black. We'll play rook g1 anyway.
defend g2 and try to develop my bishop or maybe play g4. It's playing way too slow also. Rook c8, so maybe he wants to take in g2, but there's knight d7. So I'll play bishop e2. Maybe g3, g4 is also there. Yeah, the trick is bishop g2, I have knight d7. So he's not really threatening much. Maybe bishop d5. Let's play b4 just in case. Secure the knight on c5. If a5, I can go a3. Takes, takes, and okay, g5. Uh, I guess I should take h6 or rook d8. Yeah, rook d8. Probably g3, takes on g5, and just finish development, bishop g2, takes, takes, and then try to, to win with my pawns. Um, yeah, I have some issues with the pawn on, on e5, I can play. I can play h4 here, it's a little bit, try to be tricky, rook e5, bishop c6. Yeah, I didn't play this in the best way, but it's probably still, still winning, of course. So I'll take rook c3 and Yeah, knight c4, rook takes, but uh, yeah, this is, this is easily winning. Five, king four, maybe. Yeah. Okay, good game. Uh, killer of GMs. Oh, uh, let's see what else we have here. Okay, let's take uh, somebody strong. Dupe. Let's play c5. Check, 90 sound. Takes, again, very popular line. Knight c3, uh -huh. I think I'm supposed to play this. And then h6, just to play knight f6 and avoid bishop g5. And now bishop e6, rook c8. And I think queen c7, or is it bishop e7? Let me should be some cancel. Yeah, so this is a very positional line. White tries to control d5 and slowly um, finish development and then try to kind of create a grip on, on the center. Black tries to 
uh, get some counterplay on the C file, and of course, eventually, the D5 break is always there. Uh, let's see how how I want to play here. Let's play something like this. Let's go maybe controlling D5 and also preparing Queen C7 Rook F C8 and then create some some pressure on the C file. Problem is the rook on c5 sometimes can be exposed to some b4 or something like that. For example, if queen c7, maybe b4. So let's play queen c8, maybe. b4, at least I have some more squares for, for the rook. Can go to c6, also to c7. And rook d8, maybe d5 is an idea. Mm -hmm. To be careful with B with B four. Rook C one. Um, can I play D five? Ed Knight D five. Knight D five. Bishop takes takes everything. I have Bishop G five there. Bishop D two. Mm, Queen C four. That's probably not so bad. What happens if I play b5, takes, takes? Maybe he can take on b5, or he can play b4. Do I have something better here? Okay, let's go for this. Uh, takes. That's a bit tricky. He can take, bishop takes, and then maybe some... I knight c5, bishop takes, and then maybe some tactics like... Ah, oh, but he goes for this, okay. Oh, queen e2. And that's... I wasn't expecting that, but... I suppose black is fine, but I have to... play fast. So I want to take... I mean, I want to... take on a4, and bishop g5 is also... an idea. This move... Uh, so let's play this. Rook B1. Maybe B5. Yeah, I have to play faster. Take, take. And if takes on D5 and C4. No. Maybe take on rook c8, maybe rook c8 immediately. Uh, now let's play this. Protect d5. Yeah, at least I have the increment. So I'll play this. And uh, I'll play this. Maybe some e3 someday. Takes, 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 and maybe queen d3. Okay, takes ed should be should be around equal. We need two. Okay, let's play this. Maybe we can create some. Some chances against uh, White's king. Takes, bishop takes, and so bishop f2 looks a bit dangerous for White. Because he can take, and he cannot take with the queen. So the king will be hmm. Let's see if we can create real problems here. Maybe that looks rook d6, maybe. I mean, if rook b3, there's queen d1. Uh, but he has rook b8, king h7, and then some check, g6. 
but still some problems. Rook f6 is coming. So maybe he's in trouble here. Yeah, the king is really weak. So I don't know, g6. I like this, yes, rook of six, rook of three. Uh, yeah, this is a good move. So how to create some problems here? Maybe check, rook b1. Yeah, not so easy. Let's play this. Rook c3, rook f3. Okay, he blunder. Queen d3, yeah, good game, dupe. That was close. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it was pretty equal the whole game. But I was able to to create some problems. Let's keep going. Another three plus two. Another Sicilian, let's see. A6, uh, let's play uh, Bishop G5. E6, F4. So this is the the old line. Knight B seven. Well, this allows Bishop C four. So let's let's play it. Normally I play Queen C seven first, and this also looks looks to his because it allows Knight C six, and then. Uh, we should be free, maybe, or takes. You can take and play e5 also. Yeah, I should probably do this. This feels like the way to go, the way to punish this. So take on e5, queen a8, bc4, and uh, should I take here or? I have something smarter. I probably should take. And then 94, maybe, maybe FE5. I take, yeah, this something like Rook of One. We should be sound have Queen A7. So let's do this. And now maybe knight e4, or maybe just queen c6 and try to collect some pawns. Yeah, that's just not good. Yeah, but I mean, black should play queen c7 instead of instead of knight bd7. Knight bd7 is maybe not such a bad move, but. Uh, Definitely knight b7 in combination with b5, allowing this knight c6 is clearly, clearly wrong. Okay, bishop h4, I mean, if he wants to go with g5, then I'm not worried about that. Bishop g3, probably e5. 
but then the king is also is also weak. Can maybe play h4 at some point and try to annoy him on the king side, create some more weaknesses. I think e5 has to be played because bishop d6 is coming. Uh, yeah, this, this doesn't feel Right, bishop c7 and bishop d6. Knight g4, uh, let's take this. I don't have to take, but I will take rook d7, knight e5 is what he wants. Mm. Yeah, it's... Everything is winning here. Let's take here. Ninety five, I'll take on F seven. And then uh, maybe 94, maybe take on c4. Let's play this. Uh, KG7. And uh, let's play this one. Uh, so rook f7, it's already winning, but knight d6, that's maybe even better. Queen d6, queen of seven. Yeah, takes queen e8, rook of seven. Yeah, good game, avenge. O5, you have to, you have to review that, uh, that neither. It's very sharp and uh, of course one move, one mistake uh, in the opening, it's, it's already serious trouble, it can be. So let's keep going, let's take one challenge without increment. I see that most of you guys want to play with increment. Okay, there are some three zero. Let's take this one. Play knight c6. If this allows knight g4, and this I should be very happy, I guess. E6 should be seven. And 
let him play an eighty five. Let's just stop an eighty five. Let's put the knight here. Okay, this looks really really nice for for black here. Uh, I can play for b4 with queen b6 or rook b8. Let's do that. Okay, let's hit the pawn on e4. Bishop d3, let's go rook c8. Okay, let's play this. Rook takes, B takes also possible. Now let's take BC. Pawn on E4 is super weak. Queen C2, Rook B8. Rook H2 or something like that. See. Yeah, I'm gonna double on the B file and then play D5. Something will happen on A3 or something. Of course, if night before the soul is A5. Apply this d5. Now bishop a3 is a threat. Cannot take because of queen b1. That takes. And uh, I don't really want to trade queens, but I guess it's it's so winning that it doesn't matter to play five. Maybe a5. And queen c6. Let's play a5. Yeah, then, then it's it's gonna be made. Yeah, good game. Uh, let's see. It's like a five minute. Challenge. See how it goes. C4. Let's play five. Sicilian once again, only with reverse colors. Right, C6. E3. Let's play bishop E6. Bishop E2. Uh, F6, maybe. So this is the English attack with the, with an extra temp of white, with reverse colors, but I guess it shouldn't be that bad for so black soul take. Take everything. Let's 
and Don Castle. So you can develop for the moment, which is nice for me. Rook d1 is also impossible because queen takes and it's mate. So he still has to solve some issues here with his development. And black has a, an easy game. I think e4 makes sense to play bishop e3. So maybe I should try to go for an endgame with queen d4. Then he takes, takes, and bishop e3, I can take on e4. Or I can just play bishop d6 now, but then bishop e3, and uh, let's try to try to play the end game. Queen c2, I can play queen c5. So let's see what he wants. Queen a5, that first of all allows bishop b4. Yeah, I guess I should. There's no reason not to do this. Yeah, queen a4, but it feels like he's losing time a bit here. I can play bishop c5, I can play, yeah, bishop c5 feels natural. Okay, queen c2 then, and then I can play queen e5 maybe. Also play bishop d2 now. But then queen c2. And I don't really want to take on c1 and um, give him time like this. So I'll play this queen c2 probably, and then I'll play queen e5. Maybe, or yeah, I'll play queen e5. Maybe bishop of four. So he was threatening bishop e three, obviously. Now bishop of four, queen f four, queen c five is a move. But I guess after king b eight, I should be doing fine. Bishop d two. Okay. So bishop c3, I have bishop d4 always, which is nice. Play king b8. Maybe rook c1. b4 so i can do i can play bishop d6 f4 queen d4 king h1 and i can take on b4 i can also play bishop d4 now rook c1 and display this position. So bishop f2 is not a move, right? King f2. Queen d4, bishop e3, it doesn't work. So I'll play bishop d4. C1, maybe I can play f5. Or maybe rook e8 first. Mm. 
Atsplerogiate. So I guess King H1 makes sense to play a four. Um, okay, A4. I can now play maybe a five, maybe just Bishop C8, attacking E4. Okay, C7 is hanging, but I can play C6 or Rook E7 maybe too. Attack the pawn and also a five might be an idea. So you go say five, let's play rookie sound. Maybe I had a five, I don't know. It doesn't look bad. Bishop f3, I'll go g5. So I want to take on e4. Yeah, this move feels a bit like too many pieces on the d file, no? Play this just in case. I guess I have some concrete threat here, like bishop b2 or something. Okay, bishop c4. Should have something, no? Bishop b2, rook d1. So let's go g5. Okay, b5, let's go. That's no, not so clear, this. And I have no time, and there's no increment, so I have to play fast now. Yeah, my bishop is free now, it's good. Yeah, okay. Great game. Uh, it was pretty close at the end. I think, uh, yeah, at some point when bishop was on d5 and I played b6, I think bishop e3 was was quite annoying because bishop takes, f takes, and then queen c6 is coming, and also the rook on f1 is hitting f6. And I mean, maybe it's still uh, unclear, but in any case, uh, good game. Let's see. Okay, let's take somebody strong and a three, three zero. So let's try to be fast. Let's see if my opponent is there. So it seems that uh, my opponent is not there. Let's try another. 
try another challenge. Let's see. Let's take this one. Okay, this one is there. Again, Nidorf? No. Okay. Browser, Queen D2. Cancel. Four. B5 takes, takes, King B1. could take and play here. E5 and A2, 3 maybe. H5 and maybe like this, I'll sacrifice a pawn. H4, knight F1. So ideally I want to bring my knight to F1, E3 and control I'm not sure it was a great sacrifice, but let's see. Should I play queen e2? Queen e2, queen c6, maybe, and then knight e3. Let's play like this. Bishop f5, I have queen f3. Rook c8, and maybe take on f7. Yeah, let's play this. Rook c8, bishop of seven. Also, rook c8, knight e3 is possible. Bishop goes, and then I'll take on f6. Now, yeah, bishop e6. Well, he's blundered the rook. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking rook c8 was forced. And then still looks. Looks kind of nice for for me, but this is just bad. So it takes, and uh, now I just win knight somewhere. We should just sign queen f three. Actually, we should just sign knight c four. It was annoying. Oh, d5 and bishop g7. No way, knight c4. Queen b5, let's give this check just to, to save our queen. And um, so queen of seven, maybe it's kind of good. Queen of six and attacking everything. Queen six, rook g8, queen six, and take the rook. Yeah, the problem with this line is, of course, the black's king is always uh, weak, so black has to be very careful. But yeah, it was obviously a bad blunder by my opponent, usually. Position is is very playable for black. Uh, uh, let's see. What else? 
details. Let's see if we have some somebody with a high rating. Okay, let's take uh, three plus two. Blunder Panda. Let's see if he's there. Yes, so. Let's change a bit and play e5. So, Italian should be five. Okay. B should be three. Let's play f6. Knight mm, c3. Takes, I guess I'll take like this. Knight c3, so I can take or. Yeah, let's take and play bishop g4. It should be two and then oh uh, and what rook e8 maybe. Typical position. Queen b3, I guess queen d6. Okay, now I have knight a5 with tempo, sometimes. And also maybe I'm gonna change sack on f3, it's an idea. C4, I can play knight a5. Also I can take on f3, take on d4. I kind of like this knight a5. C5, knight b3 doesn't work. So I'll take, take, and play bishop b6 at the end. Also, I can take on f3 after queen c3. And if c5, there's queen g6. Or I can just take on c4 and play bishop b6. You have to be careful, knight g5, I have bishop f5 always, so I'll take here. I mean, take on f3, it's a move, c5. Yeah, maybe I should just stick to the plan. Probably has to take all, and bishop e6 is my idea, and then take on f3 if I can. So queen e2. Also, bishop takes f3 now. Looks very good. Uh, yeah, I'll take here. This looks like the because DC also knight d5. So yeah, I'll I'll take this this one. Bishop d3, bishop e4. And if this, I'll take take king h8. And so his king side is also in bad shape now. C6, bishop c7. It's a plan. And also just, uh, okay, this I think loses no queen g6, queen e4, and then rook e6. Yeah, this is losing. King e1 and then rook e6, rook g6, it's mate, or close to. Rook of six or rook e six, maybe here. Like this, a five, rook of five. Oh, still not over. Just to check. Hmm. 
three F three maybe. We'll try to to mate him anyway. Rook G two, for example, and Rook H two. Yeah, the problem with this move is bishop a5 map, so forcing white to go back. And then do I play rook g2? I mean, rook g2, there's queen c5. So maybe king of one, I'll play. Uh, yeah, well, thanks for the game. Uh, um, maybe still king of one should be winning uh, because rook g2, there's queen c5. Although I wouldn't be surprised if there's there's mate. I can just slowly play rook e8 also. Should be winning. So let's let's keep going. Uh, Okay, let's take without increment. Let's change a bit to play nine of three. D5, then G3. Okay, D4. G2. B3, bishop B2, just development. Eventually, try to kick the knight out with C3, or maybe go C4. Maybe first this, and then C4. Uh, C5, okay. So I just rook c1, rook c1, so maybe some knight b4, it's annoying. So I'll take. So now, big decision to play with isolated pawn or to take with the piece on d5, knight d5. Uh, so we'll ed, uh, then I'll take here. And go knight b5 maybe and try to play against the uh, isolated pawn. Looks. Looks promising for me, slightly. Knight d4, maybe bishop b4 and rook c1. Yeah, rook c8. It's maybe bishop h3, it's possible. Just to annoy him a bit, see what he wants to do with the rook. Ninety seven, rook c seven. Yeah, rook c seven is possible. And I can play knight f five. I can go maybe knight h four. Try to put a knight on a five anyway. Yeah, this looks a bit weird, but. Why not? Looks interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get this bishop with knight five and um, 
Yeah, and of course, G6, there's F3. So rook e8, idea to put the bishop on f8. So I'll go this, bishop f8. And then maybe queen d2. So I'll take with the knight and f knight e4. Guess I have queen d4 or something like that. Yeah, knight e4, maybe queen f4 in this case. Probably here. Rook c1, rook c1. Can he play queen a5 here? Probably he can. But still looks a bit... And he has no time. He has no time. Yeah, this feels like I should have some Knight h6, king h8. Um, even rook c8 there I can play. Okay, let's do this. Takes and takes, yeah, this is queen g4. Yeah. And this is not good. Okay, interesting game. Uh, let's see. Let's take another challenge without increment to keep things interesting. So let's see with black now. Okay, let's play this. was recommended to me by a friend. Okay, this we transpose to some line in the Scandinavian defense. C3, I think I go E5. It feels like I have a decent position. And this feels wrong, definitely. Uh, well, first of all, I can take on d1 and take on e5. Maybe I should do that. So obviously, take is impossible because of rook d1 mate and knight d3 is a threat. Rook d1 and knight f3 also. So maybe bishop e2, but white is much worse now. Okay, castle, maybe it's the best. So I can take on f3 or I can play knight d3. Knight d3 and bishop c5, I'll just keep it simple, take here and play this position with uh, superior pawn structure. Let's play maybe here, knight f5. So I want to get my knight to f5, which is a very nice square. Can go to h4 eventually. Hitting pawn on f3 and mm. 
No, knight c4, maybe. Just bishop e7 or immediately knight h4. So knight h4, maybe knight e5 if he wants. Okay, let's play. Let's play bishop d6. Not really afraid of the trade. Because I'm still better. Yeah, uh, bishop b3, and rook e8, rook d1, rook e6, perhaps. So knight h4 at some point might be good, but. Well, this, um, this is definitely giving me a lot of things here. So I can play rook d6 and then take on e3. I can take on e3 immediately, also win a pawn. Uh, let's go here. I want to push this king to the corner before I take. So okay, on h1 I like because it's far from the from the center and now just play the same game. So I'll take another one and this should be easy win. Uh, h5. Let's play here. And maybe here. Take back. I thought he was going group check. Yeah. So good game. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, let's see if there is somebody strong. Okay, let's take Naruto, 2695, three without increment. Should be fun. Oh, let's get my mouse right. So I'll go e4. Okay, French. Let's play e5. C3. Queen b6, bishop b2. A3, it's also line, of course. So we take and this line, it's kind of popular also. Castle. So white gets a pawn, but uh, it gets some Some compensation, of course. Uh, Bishop G7, let's play knight B3, maybe, or I play something else. Knight B3 looks good. So Queen A3, probably, and
perhaps we should be fine. So I want to take on c6 and play. Uh, rook c1 or queen c2. Probably you should castle anyway. So I'll take rook e1. Let's switch to a6. It was anyway playing. So I have ideas with rook e3 and then at some point switch the rook to rook to the king side and get some kind of attack with knight h4, rook g3 maybe or. Yeah, so my point is sort of like he, if he goes f6, then I, have, I can take or I can just wait and I'll have control over e5. So probably now knight c5 or something like that. f5, knight e5. So I'll remove this, although not sure if it's the best move for, for black to take, but. This looks like at least good compensation. Okay, queen a5, maybe, maybe rook b1 or something. And just to prevent some rook b8. Yeah, queen c7. You might still want to play rook b8. So I can Yeah, this looks very nice for me. I have to I have to see how what's the most clever way here. Maybe queen b3. I want to play, I mean I want to prevent this rook b8. Trading pieces. It's not so clear what he's going to do with bishop on c8 and yeah, queen b6, and then I'll win some tempest, queen e3. Yeah, and then I'll take finally. 95. So rook b8, I can take a 97. Still, he cannot play it. And yeah, now black's position starts to, to seem just lo losing 97. Yeah. Take the rook and it's winning. Yeah, good game, Naruto. <laughs> yeah, I think position was, of course, uh, dangerous for, for black. This is an interesting line. So let's see. Let's see what else we have here. Let's keep going with the with the tree without increment. So change play d4. Not a free. Okay. We should be four. Let's play this. Take. Take, take here. Mm -hmm. So, this should be five. Okay, this should be seven. What if I go rook c1? So 
So if take nine takes, um, if queen a5, rook c8. Bishop the seven seems wrong. Because now I want to play rook c8. I think knight d7 was the move there. So check. Takes. And uh, takes. And then king g1. Um, you have black cannot move. Queen d8 is a threat, but that's not even the point. The point is that his pieces are just stuck. He cannot move. Queen b6, h4, and then rook h3. Yeah, bad blunder in the opening, this bishop d7. I think knight d7 is the it's the way, and then white usually anyway goes this h4, rook h3, and it's uh, it's good compensation, but black has uh, a good position, of course. So knight d4, yeah, maybe that's what I was expecting, but unfortunately for him, it's it's not enough. Queen d4, queen b1, um, but I'll just go g3 and create a nice little square for my king here. And that should be, that should be the game. Queen e5, queen d3. Should I take or that's the, the easiest way to to win here? Uh, EF queen d5 is probably still some illusion of of something. So just bring my king. And then I'll give uh, maybe a check. King of six and now queen e3, knight of five, queen of four, queen d5. I can also just play rook d1, bring my last piece into play. Yeah, it's for the sake of simplicity, I'll take and put queen e3 and now it's very easy. Yes, thank you for the game. Uh, let's see if we have some more. Okay, I have a very uh, high rated opponent challenging me. So let's take this one. Carlos A. Obregón. So GM. So this should be quite a challenge. C5, knight of three. Knight c3, a6, let's play, uh, let's play a4. Different line, more positional. e6, 
let's play bishop e2. Castle. This is seven of four. This Chevening in positions. Uh, Horse are well known. G4, I think it was something similar. Can he play D5? Bishop C8 is normal, G5. Bishop of 3 and Bishop G2 somehow. Okay, rook b8, uh, he wants to play with b5. It's like we need to, just in case. Knight a5. Uh, so maybe knight c4. So let's play, you can play knight b2 or rook d1. Let's play rook d1. So like this, knight c4, bishop c1. Yeah. And b5, maybe I can take and play knight d4. Let's do this. All the bishop a6 might be a problem for this. But this knight b5, I thought knight b5, queen c5. And then b3, uh, knight moves and he has some ideas there. So let's play this. Queen c5, p3. Yeah, I thought I have this little move here. Take, take, I mean, I'm taking, I'm using the fact that he cannot take on c3, obviously, because the knight is hanging, and then I secure the knight on, on b5, and I'm ready to play bishop b3. And his, his queen might have some issues, but still, of course, it's far from over. Knight takes. I can take with a pawn or I can take with the knight. Let's take with the knight. Try to play for bishop e3. So now probably queen b6. Yes, that makes sense. Bishop e3, knight c5. Um, looks promising for me though. But I have to be careful with uh, the pawn on e4 and so on. So knight c5 he wants to do. Can play bishop d2. Like this knight c5 and take on b4. I don't know if this is the best, but uh, bishop a6 maybe. Bishop b4, bishop b5, cb. Maybe Lex Finder. Should I play Bishop B3? Try to. Uh, yeah, I'll play this. Just uh, I don't want to take him before. I'll just admit that this is a mistake and play Knight D4 now. Maybe play queen c2, bishop g2, stuff like that, and then eventually try to play for f5 eventually. Yes, all this is logical. We'll go here, maybe.
Yeah, a5 is a good move. So I'll take here. Rook takes. Um, I wanted to play queen f2, but I'm not sure if it's so good. How will they play though? Queen c7, knight b5, queen d7. I can play knight d6, bishop d6. I'll play queen f2. Knight b5. And maybe, yeah, this is probably not great for me. Take every scene and bishop d4. Huh. Miguel play this. Although I have big doubts that this is going to work. Yeah, there's rook g5 at the end. Yeah. Even this. Yeah, this doesn't work. You have text and rook d4. Yeah, good game. I think I was, yeah, I was probably much better, but uh, e5 after e5, then I was, I was, yeah, probably already in trouble. I, I mean, I saw that all this knight b5, queen d7 was, was not great, but I had little time and I decided to go for it anyway. But anyway, good game. Let's let's see. Let's try to play. Uh, okay, let's play Sergey. We always play. I have three, I have six. Okay. E5. My D2, let's play um, super five. E5, let's play night this sound. My D3, well, it's a bit weird. But it's possible. So C3, I can play E5, or I can play C5, let's play E5.
so we solved our problems in the opening, but not sure if if more than that is very equal. Okay, queen b3. Mm, let's fly b6. Queen is seven. Yeah. Not much going on here. Let's play this. C4, I put bishop here. Try to prevent a rook invasion. Uh, maybe h4. Maybe one day I'll have some chances here. So rook d8, there is bishop g5. Maybe can play queen e6. And yeah, go for the end game. Should be pretty equal. Rook d4, so I'll take. Take and I'll play um, rook e5, maybe. Maybe just the five king of sound. Yeah, I'm trying to see how I can create some chances, but it's probably not possible. Okay, bishop d4, can I play rook d8, bishop c5. Uh, anyway, I'll play king e8. Okay, yeah, let's try here to create something. Try to fix the bombs on the dark squares and maybe I can do something with Okay, good game, Sergey. <laughs> it was probably draw. Uh, anyway, but uh, yeah. I thought we were playing with Ingram in this game for some reason. Then it, it would have been a draw. Uh, but uh, yeah, at some point I realized that there was no Ingram. And uh, yeah, started to play fast. But uh, thanks a lot for the game. 
So I think uh, we'll play uh, one more and uh, and we will we will end for for today. So let's let's see. Let's take somebody uh, lower rated to just to give all players a chance. Let's take a three without increment. Monkey King 37. Okay, so let's play out of six. C6 and then A6. Uh, B6. So the idea here is to play bishop a6 and okay, this allows queen g5, knight f3, takes on g2, rook d1, okay, bishop a6. This was my idea anyway. And uh, and it doesn't look bad to castle. Play f6 at some point. g4, uh, that might be 4, okay, bishop h6 is a threat, so let's play f6, bishop h6, I have rook of sound, then maybe knight f3, Gain out of three, let's play queen e8. Maybe I'll play queen g6. So if takes, takes. It's an interesting endgame. I mean, he has to spawn on t6, but uh, my pieces are not that bad, so I can develop hopefully uh, my knight on a6 and be fine I'll play this fix on f6 maybe queen of six. Okay, this maybe queen h5. It takes on a six root takes. G four, okay. Mm. Where should I go? Queen C five, G five. It's actually going G five, G six, maybe. Mm. Let's go here. And if I rook of eight. I mean, if it takes, it has a draw here, which is maybe not. I thought bishop takes, takes, queen takes, and so on, but uh, yeah. So again, I can play queen h5 now, or you can play h6. Let's bring the queen into play. I don't want to play h6 here, so I'll take. And then So rook d1 is the idea. I'll go 
my information be some yc5 try to use this diagonal now c5 f3 knight c2 go to d4 okay d4 can take the rook or i can take on d4 now let's do this checking d8 and uh, bishop d6 i guess i'll have something and this i have rook f3 i think knight f3 also wins now okay there's no time <laughs> uh not good queen g2 maybe Oh, this cannot work. This cannot work. Yeah, good game. Interesting. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, well, thank you for for being here. I hope you, I hope you had some fun and uh, hope that you learned something. And. Uh, I'll be I'll be around uh, in in a couple of days for for more uh, banter blitz also in Spanish we will do some some shows so stay tuned and uh, be ready for for some more games thank you again for for following and um, see you soon everybody. <laughs>